This is Jean Rubo from the Photoshop team at Adobe. In this video, I will show you how to use the new Combine Shapes command. This allows you to apply an intersection option when merging the layers. This is easiest to explain with a demo. Here, I have a set of shape layers. The bottommost layer in the stack is this large circle, and the other layers above it are the smaller circles around the outside edge. In this case, I want to cut the smaller circles out of the large circle, resulting in a gear shape. I can do this with the Combine Shapes command. Once again, I want to select all of the shape layers in the Layers panel, which I'll do using Shift-Click. Then I'll go to the Layer Combine Shapes menu. Since I want to create cutouts using the upper shape layers, I will choose Subtract Front Shape. And there's my new shape. Now what happens with the Combine Shapes command is that the topmost selected layers, in this case the circles, are merged into the bottommost selected layer, in this case the large circle, with the selected intersection option applied. So in this case, all of the upper circle layers are subtracted from the big circle layer. At the same time, the stroke and fill from the topmost selected layer, that's this one here, you can see it in the layers panel here, will be used on the new layer. Notice that all the original shape paths are still editable on the new layer. So I'll do that again. Layer Combine Shapes, Subtract Front Shapes. These options are also available from the Vector Tools context menu when multiple shape layers are selected. So here I have the Path Selection tool. I'll right-click on the image and I can do Subtract Front Shape, just like in the menu. So that's how you combine multiple shape layers.